Writing literature reviews can be done fast using this website that is called SciSpace, a new tool that has been introduced that is called Research GPT. In this uh, case, we have the integration of uh, SciSpace with ChatGPT. This is the famous uh, ChatGPT uh, AI bought by OpenAI. So I can just open it now. And then I can ask uh, ChatGPT to give me some research papers uh, that are real because the problem with ChatGPT is that it just uh, makes up research papers and references, which may cause a lot of problems with regard to the integrity of research. So here we can just uh, use this tool to write literature reviews of different type like scoopy literature review, a narrative literature review or systematic literature review. Uh, by just typing the keywords, the inclusion and exclusion criteria. So suppose that we want to know some of the uh, recent uses of AI in education. This is a broad topic, but still we just need to do scooping literature review. So here we could just say, uh, write a systematic literature review, systematic uh, literature review on the use of AI or more specifically virtual reality in education. So this is still broad but I'm just using it as an example for you to see how it's done uh, and then I could say cite uh, references in the APA uh, style. Click enter And it will prompt you to uh, see whether you will accept using it uh, through the, uh, let's say that uh, allow. So here we can just click uh, allow this. So here it will start talking to research GPT types it IO. So this is the prompt. So here, this is the Scoopy Literature Review. This is brief introduction. The use of virtual reality in education is growing area of interest, offering immersive and interactive learning experiences. Systematic literature review of this topic reveals several key insights. So here we have virtual reality in education. This book chapter by uh, Cresto 2010 discusses the implementation of virtual reality in education or in educational settings. As you can see here, the a brief review is just a little bit shallow. It's not a deep uh, review, but it can be used as a, uh, as a scoopy literature review. The references here are cited, but still it just gives you the uh, link to the reference. That is real one, as you can see when we check it. This is good. And then this is for this the DOI. We can check this one as well. You see it is a real one and the reference is there. So this is what is good about it, but it can be used, as I said, just for scoping, for just uh, knowing what is going on in the literature. If you may have some questions and you want to see how those questions can be substantiated by the literature. So this, this is going to be a good start for you. Uh, because it not only provides you with the name of the reference and the publication dates, among others like Google Scholar, but it just gives you a clear uh, summary of what the content is like. So the summary can be either, uh, let's say, uh, used as a citation in your literature review chapter, or maybe you can delve into that reference further to know what is going on, especially if it is relevant to you. So this is a good start. So this is, I think, for the first use of this uh, tool and it will be improved later, but uh, by integrating it with the chat GPT, they did something that is good as the instructions can be customized and the ease of use is going to be higher when it comes to chat GPT. And this is going to overcome the issue of fake uh, references just uh, made up by uh, chat GPT. So if you like the tool, you can just uh, comment below and you can comment what uh, can be improved for this tool and what are your needs when it comes to literature reviews. Here you could also access the uh, references directly and you could just uh, uh, cite them uh, using different styles among others. So this is really a good start. 
but I think that the different features may be confusing for uh, beginners. You need to familiarize yourself with the website. This is my point of view. And also the literature review here is a bit shallow literature review, although it uses uh, recent, let's say sometimes recent uh, real references. There are some old references and it may miss some uh, key references that may not have been uh, in its data base. This is another thing that is not convenient. And for the systematic literature review, you need to follow some uh, protocols like Prisma among others to, to write it. And this is not uh, currently available for uh, this tool. But with time, I think uh, improvements will be incorporated with regard to this tool and new things will emerge. This is just to help you with your research work and see you soon. Bye for now.